Juice World is known for having thousands of songs in the vault, tons of leaks, and tons of snippets. He would clock into the studio and freestyle an album's worth of music. He had so many ideas for what to do with his abundance of music, whether it was collab projects or love albums. After Juice World's untimely passing, he left behind tons of music. And while much of it has been leaked, there's still a lot that fans have not heard. Today, we're going to be looking into the lost songs of Juice World. So first, I want to clarify when I say lost songs, the songs aren't entirely lost since someone out there probably has them, whether it be a leaker, Ali, the label, or someone else. Else. So most of what I'm going to be talking about has either had some leaks or has the ability to leak in the future or be officially released. I also want to give a quick shout out to Logan Toth on Instagram for helping me with a lot of the info before I even started the video. And another quick shout out to Triple E and his community on Discord for helping me with this video as well. Since it can get pretty confusing when dealing with Juice World's abundance of leaks, lost music, and things like that. I may as well shout out my Instagram real quick too. Anyways, let's hop into the video. I got a couple of singles I want to cover and then we'll be moving more into projects. <laughs> Robin Scam is a song that Juice made with DJ Scheme and apparently it features Ski on it. There is a 6 second snippet that exists online but the song was never released. Scheme says that the song was never finished and he doesn't want to release it because it makes him sad how high Juice was when recording the song. In response to that, a lot of fans were saying that Scheme should release it anyway because Juice was high when recording a lot of his other songs, but Scheme said that you couldn't really understand Juice World because he was slurring his words. Because of this, it will probably never be released. <laughs> Right Now, also known as Incense, is a song with Juice World, Lil Bibby, and Ski that has never been fully leaked or released. Juice World played the large majority of a song on an Instagram Live, but a higher quality version has never been posted or leaked. It actually sounds super good with a crazy beat, so hopefully one day we'll be able to hear it. So The Twilight Zone is an EP that Juice World released in 2016, back when he was going by Juice the Kid. It was later deleted in 2017 and fans were looking for it for quite some time. It was thought of as the lost Juice World project. The tracklist was discovered from old SoundCloud links on Facebook and eventually it was restored in its entirety. There's also a vlog that features Juice recording a few of the tracks from the EP back in 2016. I included this one since it's not super well known by the majority of Juice World fans and it's a pretty interesting project. It even has one of Juice's first music videos for the song Dreams. <laughs> Juice World made a three song collab EP with an artist known as Kill Zero and it was titled Kill's World. It was released in June of 2018 on Kill's SoundCloud. The EP was later deleted off Kill's SoundCloud for unknown reasons. Again, the entirety of the EP was later recovered and uploaded to YouTube. The first two songs are much more known than the last one, Pop Punk Star. Whimpers in the Darkness was posted on Elevator and has over 200,000 views, while Don't Care has over 50,000. Again, I included this one because it's not really known and might be the least known official Juice World project that we have, but the rest of the projects I'll be talking about are much more lost. <laughs> Slime World is a collab project between Juice World and Young Thug. It was teased in 2018 and 2019, but it was never officially released. Young Thug, where are you at with your joint project with Juice World? Is that true? Are you guys oh doing gosh, something? Bro. Yes. We know that Juice and Thug have many songs together, many of which are either released, unreleased, or leaked. But many songs are still probably never heard by the general public. They had been working on it right up until Juice's untimely passing, and if I had to guess, we're planning on making Bad Boy the lead single, since the music video was being filmed right before Juice World had passed. When Bibby was asked if he would consider ever making a posthumous collab album with Juice and another artist, he responded that he would probably choose Thug, because he knew what Thug and Juice were planning, and they also have a lot of unreleased songs in the vault together. <laughs> Aiden Ross said on a live stream that Yachty once sent him a 12 song project between Yachty and Juice called Bless Boys. We don't really know anything about the project or the track list. There's a lot of Juice World and Yachty leaks, so it's likely that some of those were intended for the track list. Genius even has a 16 song hypothetical track list, but as we know, there were 12 songs, and none of the tracks have been confirmed. <laughs> Evil Twins was a highly anticipated collab project between Juice and Ski. They teased it many times throughout their friendship. A few songs like the title track and Hey Mister were leaked, but the rest of the track list is unconfirmed. DJ Scheme said on a live stream that unfortunately Evil Twins was never finished, so because of this, it'll probably never be released. It's likely that there were more songs that were intended for the project that we've never heard. In an interview with Vlad TV when asked about this project, Lil Bibby said Juice would get into the studio with people, record tons of songs, get excited and want to release a project of some sort without any real planning. So that insinuates that there wasn't an actual release plan for Evil Twins, but it was just something they wanted to do together. Personally, this is the one I wanted to hear the most, so I really hope that there's something we can hear from this, but we probably won't. <laughs> 
Lost in the Abyss was the project that was supposed to follow up Goodbye and Good Riddance. It was another heartbreak album after Juice had recently broken up with his girlfriend Starfire, but he scrapped it because he had just gotten into a relationship with Allie, and he wanted to make his next album about her, which ended up being Death Race for Love. There are many speculative track lists from fans, but nothing is confirmed. The only song we can be almost certain was intended for Lost in the Abyss is the song Abyss because of the name. The song Abyss is also known as The Party Never Ends, and the chorus of the track was used in Travis Scott's No Bystanders. <laughs> A Naruto Day in London is a project that was confirmed by Ali in a live stream, mentioned on Twitter by her multiple times, and was apparently another love album about her. We know Juice and Ali were big Naruto fans, and the week before he passed, she even got him some Naruto art, with the two of them drawn as Naruto characters. I'm not really sure what a Naruto Day entails, maybe some Sasuke and Sakura type of deal, but the tracklist is unconfirmed, and again, like most of his lost projects, it's just composed of a bunch of songs about Ali that fans think would have been on the project. Ali tweeted that Juice's label isn't even aware of the project, and that she could share it if she wanted to, so it seems like as of now, Ali is the only one who holds the keys to an Arto day in London. <laughs> Outsiders was intended to be Juice World's next album following Death Race for Love. He first mentioned it in a tweet on June 24th of 2019. It was supposed to release on December 2nd of 2019, but it obviously didn't, and Juice passed shortly after. Ali said on Twitter that she hopes the album isn't scrapped, and that she knows exactly what songs Juice wanted on the album and how he wanted the cover to look. Although some fans do struggle to believe Ali on certain topics, because apparently she's had inconsistencies in the past on what she said. Juice confirmed that the song Too Many was supposed to be on the project in his documentary. Other than that, we can't really be sure about any of the speculative track list that fans have come up with. However, fans have made some really educated guesses and have gone to extreme lengths to figure out what may have been on the album. We also know that the album was going to include a Young Thug feature, production from Metro Boomin, and production from Nick Mira. Outsiders was supposed to cover Juice's mind state about the position he was in. Since it was supposed to be Juice's next album that was going to be released, but it never was, fans think that it won't ever come out. <laughs> The Party Never Ends is a Juice World album that is planned to be posthumously released, so technically it may not be a lost album, but more so a compilation album of finished songs, since it doesn't appear that this is an album that Juice had planned out before he passed. It was teased by Lil Bibby and was the last line in the outro track for Legend Never Die. There was a trailer for the album that was released on July 8th of 2021, making it seem like that album was going to follow up Legends Never Die, but the album was pushed back multiple times. Instead, Fighting Demons was released in December of 2021 to accompany the documentary. The trailer for The Party Never Ends in included the song Go Hard, which made its way to Fighting Demons, along with many other songs that were expected to be on The Party Never Ends. However, Lil Bibby has since confirmed that The Party Never Ends is supposed to be releasing again in June of this year, and it may even be out by the time this video goes up. Since announcing that, Lil Bibby has threatened to cancel the release of the album because of the constant leaks, so hopefully the leaks do not impede the album release and it gets dropped this month. Juice World made a remix of XXX Tentacion's posthumous song, Whoa, Mind in Awe. And all that's available for that song is a low quality snippet of Juice singing over the instrumental. There's also an interview with DJ Scheme where Scheme confirms that Juice World recorded this song. So the remix is most definitely real, and I'm sure some fans out there have it, so it's only a matter of time before it gets leaked. <laughs> Trippy very, very, very briefly mentioned in a No Jumper vlog back in 2018 that him and Juice World were gonna drop a collab tape. Our tape gonna be stupid, nigga. This is the same vlog where they were recording songs like 14999 and many more. As you can see in the vlog, Trippy and Juice are going back and forth, constantly freestyling, and just banging out songs in the studio. I'm sure they have plenty of songs in the vault that have not been released yet and may be released posthumously. So, like I said, there's no actual lost Juice World songs, since someone out there probably has them, but these are some of the rare songs and some of the songs that have not yet leaked or been released. Let me know what songs, projects, or collab tapes you want to hear most. If you like this video, you might like my video where I covered all of XXXTentacion's lost songs, since he has many, many songs that are actually lost since he used to delete all of his music because he liked to make them rare for fans to find, which I think is super funny. So make sure to check that video out. Other than that though, this has been Matty Balls. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.